Here we are again. All right. Welcome back, guys. Hey, guys. Today is a PSA. We just want to, we are 30-somethings, 20-somethings. Stop lying. That <laughs> want to just, you know, put a PSA out there. Let everyone know it is the change in times. Things are now acceptable that weren't before. Everything's sure. unacceptable that was acceptable before. <laughs> so I guess I have I have mentioned in the past that I was I am trying to get pregnant and it's actually taken me way longer than I thought it was going to. I mm -hmm. thought Chrissy is going to get pregnant tomorrow, like we Bing, just bang, boom. do it and here we are, right? Yeah. Not what happened. So now I am at the point that it's been almost a year and I have contacted the fertility clinic and I've gone in just to do my preliminary test. Haven't got my results yet. Waiting time, horrible, like, ugh, shoot me, like, it's horrible waiting. It's like as bad as the trying, the two week wait period. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I found that in my just day to day life, I will talk to people about everything. Like, I always tell everyone, mm -hmm. I always just say whatever, right? And there's so many more people out there that have done fertility treatment yeah. of some sort especially in our age range yeah yeah that you wouldn't even realize and i guess because we haven't normalized it and we don't talk about it yeah but like on across the board like yes there's so many options available for people who are you know having trouble conceiving or for people who are unable to conceive and like want to do other options there's so many there's so many options but somehow we're still under this idea that it's a taboo topic and we shouldn't be talking about it and people are like worried about discussing this when I think it's would be so much more beneficial if things were out 100%. in the open. 100%. Okay, so I like to count myself as like the odd person. So I don't care to not, like I don't need to keep everything near and dear and not talk about whatever, right? So mm -hmm. I, I talk about this because it just helps me deal with it better if I talk about it. Yeah. So... As I meet people, sometimes like it comes up and I'm like, oh yeah, I went to the fertility clinic. And they're like, oh yeah, where? Which one? Like people just know all the fertility clinics. And then they're like, oh yeah, I went to that one, whatever. And then it comes up in conversation essentially like that. And then I hear their story and it's like pretty much someone you know has gone through fertility treatment, whether or not they've spoken to you about it or not. Yeah. And it's not like it just stops there. They know someone or multiple people. It's just, there's I think I've so known, many. I like, five people who've gone, like, who've either gone through it or are currently going through. Five people. She only has one friend. Like, <laughs> how does she know so, five people? Auxiliary no. people. <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> auxiliary people. <laughs> but I feel like we need to normalize it. And it sh we shouldn't feel, like, I, I find a lot of people either feel embarrassed. Yeah. They feel ashamed. Or I, there was one person I'd spoken to. And eventually, like, it was me, a friend, and this person, and then they had explained their situation and all the mm -hmm. things that they had gone through. They didn't actually say what their diagnosis was, mm -hmm. so I don't know what it was. But they also said, please let Chrissy know, like, don't tell anyone what my thing, right? But at the same time, I was kind of like, well, I don't even know what your diagnosis was, so it yeah. doesn't even really matter. Right. But regardless... The point was that this person didn't want people to know. And in my mind, like, it's it, and it's up to you to share your business or not. So if you're not comfortable, great. Like, that's up to you. Yeah, keep it you, to yourself. You keep yeah. it to yourself. But when someone is sharing it is what I'm kind of, you know. And, but I feel like she also felt the pressure of society and what people <clears throat> kind think, of think. Yeah, yeah. And that's why it was like, a, I'm going to keep it close to myself. Because... I think if she was really that secretive, not secretive, but to herself kind of thing, you know what I mean? I don't think she would have told us her story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So there, I think there's like, and then I think even for myself, like at one point I was kind of like, oh, like you do go through it and you're like, is there something wrong with you? You're like, no, like, no, you know, this is yeah. the medieval times when we didn't know what was going on with the female body. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right? Which would have sucked. Like, oh my God, it would have been like, but yet I don't know if there's anything wrong with me or not. I, I'm suspicious of what my diagnosis is. If you guys want to know, let us know in the comments. I am more than happy to share my story with you guys or my, even what we go through in the future. Yeah. Like, I mean, Simone's going to be there with me, so 100%. <laughs> she's yeah. happy to share it as well. Yeah. 
Honey, are you happy to share? I, you know, I, I, I have a hard time keeping anything secret, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, so I just want to let people know, like, it's normal. You can talk about it. Yeah. Everyone, when someone talks to you about it, if you've been the lucky person who's been able to conceive naturally, easily, it's never, like, you were that one night stand and it just... Or a oopsie. Yeah, like, yeah. all that stuff. Don't feel bad for the other people yeah. either. Like, I don't want anyone's pity either. Like, it's I think that's part life. of it too. Like, a lot of people seem to think that when they hear that people are going through some sort of fertility treatments or having some sort of issue conceiving or anything like that, like, a lot of people are like, oh, poor, poor them. Like, oh. Yeah. And, and then they don't want to, like, talk about anything because they don't want to, like, do that. I think that people think that they don't want to upset anyone or, like make anyone feel some kind of way but like I think honesty is the best policy really in this uh-huh. situation I say I say ask yeah don't feel bad if you're curious ask mm-hmm. if the person is willing to share sometimes it's it could be lonely like even like okay I talk about shit to everyone mm-hmm. when it comes to my boyfriend I don't want to make him nervous I don't want to give him anxiety I don't want to like kind of almost burden him even though we're going through this together yeah so there's a lot of times that I'll keep things to myself from him and I do tell you or I tell like you know Tash or whatever or I tell other people like I said I talk to people but it's not the same as telling your partner yeah so it's still a little bit going through it with you yeah yeah so it essentially feels like a little lonely and then so I can see how other people still would be like like, especially women, like, because men don't understand. That's why I don't tell my boyfriend everything mm-hmm. every single time. Do you know what I mean? So I can see for a woman it being, like, lonely. So your friends who are going through this are feeling lonely. Mm-hmm. And they're feeling, like, sad, defeated, so many different emotions. Yeah. Like. Anger, maybe. Like, yeah. yeah. And I'm sure they would like, love to get it off their chest, especially with a friend. So if you don't, don't look at them like, oh, I feel bad for you. And then also, don't try to give them advice. Oh my like, gosh, yeah. Uh, I'm so... There's nothing worse oh. than unsolicited advice on any front. Like, whether it's about fertility or anything in life. Like, shut your mouth unless it's asked for. I was telling Simone how I was talking to this person, and she's like, oh, what advice can I give you? And I'm thinking, I didn't, I didn't ask you for advice. What do you mean, what, what advice can you give me? And she's like, when you feel pregnant, you'll, when you, you'll feel like something's off, and that's when you're pregnant. And I'm like... That's what you're telling me? Yeah. Like, that's, that's not That's not helpful. even advice. That's, like, straight <laughs> yeah. up, like, bullshit. And not everybody goes through the same thing. Like, you can't just say, oh, this is what you're going to feel when you're pregnant. Like, it what, was what so the- weird. The whole journey of motherhood for her was so beautiful. Mm-hmm. And it was great. But the way she was giving me advice was still in that. I just yeah. felt like it was just not helpful. And it didn't make me feel better in any way. Mm-hmm. Like... I felt better her just talking to me about her, like, true love for her kids. Like, I thought that was really nice and beautiful. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And people, I think that's the thing, too. People feel bad about gushing about their kids after once they find out. And it's like, but you shouldn't. I want to have kids because I want exactly what you have. So you shouldn't feel bad about what yeah. you have. I want I want a Winnie who's going to hug me up when I feel <laughs> bad. You know what I mean? I want that. So don't, don't, don't do that shit. I'm lucky that you guys don't do yeah. it. I'm so happy you guys don't do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's... Well, I mean, yeah, that's not us. Like, That'd be horrible. Like, if I couldn't even talk to my friends. Yeah. And I'm. you know what? Un- unfortunately, I'm sure there's people out there who feel like they can't talk to their friends because of, like, how their friends are treating them during this time. Like, the, you know, walking on eggshells. Sometimes people just want to talk about what they're going through. Well, and you're allowed, you as a non-fertility person, like, who had to do that stuff, you're allowed to, you're allowed to have your own feelings. You're allowed to be happy about what you have. You're allowed to, you know, if it's your is all and ends all in life, you're allowed to have those feelings. If that's your story, that's your story. And you can still share that with me. And it's not like it's coming from a situation where, like, the other person's, like, gloating in front of your face, like, oh, look what happened to me. I just got a baby and I thought about it. Like, you know, like, it's not like that, like. No. Everybody, like, if, it, if if that's what, if you were able to have Don't a child naturally, like, that's what happened. Yeah. Like, it's great. Just acknowledge that, accept that, and that's your story. Don't feel I like mean, you have to, like, keep it 
like hidden you know what i mean my brother i have two brothers and a uh, well i have three brothers and a sister but in this story i have two brothers and a sister and they all three had babies this exact year two of them had them a day apart and then one of them had them like a couple months before so that's three people in, in my immediate life that's three pregnancies that all had <laughs> babies all together which is like my dream in life and it was okay. Like, I'm so happy for them. I love my nephews. I love all of them so much in their own separate way. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't, and they never treat me like, because I know, uh, well, my sister and my sister-in-law both had to go through fertility for their own reasons. And then my other sister-in-law, she, she didn't have to go through anything. She just went through stuff to kind of, cause like before she met my brother, like she wanted to just see what was going on. Mm -hmm. Like just, I guess, curiosity. Yeah. Right. So you know, they've all been through it or in some way or another. Uh -huh. So none of them ever, they're all very supportive and like really cool about it. And yeah. they're not annoying in any way. So uh -huh. that's really good. Uh -huh. But at the same time, I could be sitting here crying because they had exactly what I wanted. Like all these cousins together. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like potentially my sister and my brother could put their kids in the same school because they live together, like not together, yeah. they live in the same city or district so they can do that mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. i don't know if they will but it's an option yeah i don't have that option but also they might not even I like don't. each other so like they're all gonna love each other they're all so cool <laughs> all, all my nephews are so cool i love them all separately for different reasons but yeah that being said don't feel bad psa it's okay to talk about fertility it's not embarrassing. Or infertility. If you're feeling embarrassed, don't feel embarrassed. If you're feeling whatever, don't feel any of that shit. It doesn't matter. You're going to get your baby. I'm going to get my baby. Babies for everyone. Yay! You want a baby, Simone? No. I want her to have it. I don't. Anyways, <laughs> what are your thoughts on this uh, topic? Uh, please let us know in the comments. Uh, don't forget also to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you stay on top of all things. Simon and Chris. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>